Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Comparison Cooking. Today is part two of our cast iron butter basted. Uh, today it's not ribeye, it's bone in New York strip. And the mission or the experiment we're doing today is going to be to do the cook like you saw last week with the butter basted. But the second steak, we're gonna drain out all the rosemary, garlic, butter and oil where it will just be cast iron residue of that oil and then we'll put the steak in to see if that's where all the flavor came from. Is it the residue from the oil? Do you not need to butter baste it like we've been told for the past 10 years that you have to be scooping it in? That's where all the flavor comes from. Maybe we need to butter baste our cast iron pan to give that, we gotta season our pan. Is that the real secret to unlocking all this flavor? I don't know. I don't think it's going to be, but last week I was totally surprised when sous vide, then into the butter basic residue seasoning, just had, it was flavor town. There was just so much flavor, it was awesome. So we're gonna do this experiment, cast iron versus cast iron to see which one's which. And if you haven't seen the video from last week with the sous vide, I'm gonna post that right up there. You know the drill. Uh, check that out after you finish watching this. We're gonna get cooking and then we're gonna get tasting. See you in a minute. Thank you.
All right, guys, we just finished our cook, so we're gonna get into the tasting portion. Now, this is a public service announcement. When it comes to steaks, everybody's got an opinion on how to properly cook it. I don't care if you flip it once, flip it twice, flip it 50 times. Whatever method turns out awesome for you, cook it that way. And don't throw your opinion on everybody that it has to be done a certain way. Because guess what? We don't care. It's cooking. It's, it's creative. Cooking. It's creative. Fun. So don't rag on people on Facebook and Instagram if they didn't cook it a certain way. Chill out, people. All right. Aaron, we're jumping in the steak. A, we don't have kids today. Well, we have we them. We do. They have played together for maybe a total of like eight hours yeah. between today and yesterday. It's so weird. we're letting them yeah. continue their thing and not bother us. So sorry you're going to miss the kids trying this. Uh, but we're good. They're, yeah, we're, We've done our time. Yeah, it was a prison sentence, but we're yeah. coming out of it. Yeah. All right, steak A. I'm jumping in. Good flavor. Yeah, good flavor. Can't wait to try, try some of that roasted I know, too. after we finish trying the steaks. I know. Um, it was a good steak. I wouldn't yeah. say, it's probably like a it's six, great. seven. It's I not say like- I it's at least a seven. Not off the charts, but it's good. It's good. And we're not trying that until we try it. Correct. Okay. And we're about to try steak B. And don't forget, if you like this, subscribe, like, share with your friends, and leave a comment below. Yeah, that piece is for you. I'm gonna do this big one. It's more flavor. Mm-hmm. Now that piece had a piece of fat on it for me. <coughs> Uh-oh. Here we go, folks. <coughs> it's a tickle, sorry. We've had her cough on video before. <coughs> really? Yeah, you almost choked on Neil's rub. Oh boy. Oh, sorry, boy. it's one of those tickles. <laughs> I'm sorry. Should we do it over? No, we're good, we're good. Okay. I'm gonna try A again, because this piece has a piece of fat. Yeah, A is tougher. A is definitely tougher. Can you taste the difference? Yeah. I can't really taste too much of a difference. Between each other? Yeah, like taste-wise. I feel like A has more taste, and B to me is more mellow. But they're they're both still packed with flavor. I think you're right, but, but why did B, we get so much flavor that first time? I'm B. I think it was the fat because you were trying some of the fat. Mm -hmm. Fat people, that's where a lot of the flavor. Okay. Don't be afraid of fat. A lot of people cut it off their steak. If it's an insane amount, cut it off. But you should have some fat on your um, steak for flavor. For flavor. Yeah, you're right, because when you eliminate the fat, this one has more flavor, but yeah. it's tougher. And then this one, B, is softer, right? Yes. It's more tender. Down. Um, so I think we kind of answered the mystery of that last video we did last week. A was just the residue of the butter-basted cook. So B was butter-basted, so just like last week. B was butter-basted, and then this was the cast iron pan? Just pan. So they are both cooked in cast iron. All right, same but pan. This marinated in the butter. This I kept. I, I got the whole thing on video okay. for you, so and you can this, see. And then this was just cast iron pan. Correct. So more flavor, but tougher. Tougher. And then with the butter, the butter just kind of mm -hmm. made it swell up. The steak it has more swell, swole, okay. swole, swole people. Um, but this one has more flavor. So we answer the question. If you just put the oil, the butter, the rosemary, and the garlic in there that's gonna, and then drain it, that's gonna create a lot of flavor for your steak. But I don't know if the trade-off's worth it because the butter based it is softer. Yeah. It's more tender. Um, I feel like just gut reaction, you wanna eat that more. Yes. Because I, of the tenderness. Correct. I mean, steak A will probably slice up for fajitas and steak B with the butter based it, we're just gonna chow down on is my guess. Uh, give it a try. Let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, but I think the sear, that's why last week with the sous vide, having the residue and not butter based it, I think that's where we got all that flavor is just cooking it straight on that flavor town pan, cast iron baby. Any last thoughts? No. All right, people. You have a great day. See you next week. Subscribe, like, follow, share, share. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.